Welcome back guys to another video and let's talk about nice fish miner update version 2022. So this update got released today and let's take a look at what news did we get. So the first thing changed is removed Kryptonite algorithm and that was kind of expected because Kryptonite v7 performs better than Kryptonite and it is ASIC resistant. So if you are running ASIC machine connected to nice fish pool you will still be able to mine original Kryptonite algorithm but if you are running a GPU, which most people do, you will be only able to mine Kryptonite V7. The next thing we have is removed NIST 5. And this was also kind of expected because new A6 from Baikal completely destroyed NIST 5 mining and profits dropped more than 90%. So there is really no need to have NIST 5 algorithm anymore. The next thing is updated excavator to version 152A. So let's take a look at what does this actually mean. So if we go to GitHub on the excavator page, you can see the only things that changed are bug fixes and AP version bumped to 0.12. So there should be really no performance improvement, but if you take a look at uh, the hash rate that we are getting with this new 2022 version, and you take a look at the 2021 version, you can see the differences between hash rates of the previous version compared to the current version. So Ketsuk stayed the same, NIST 5 got removed, new script got a little bump and you can see that this is about 1 or 2% bump in performance improvement, so nice to see that. Lira version 2, 71 to 70. So this could just be an error while doing benchmarking, so if differences are less than 1%, it doesn't really matter. Uh, Dagger Hashimoto from 30 to 30, Dagger Hashimoto, Decret, Pascal and Sia all stayed the same, Decret 479 to 476, so no difference here. But if we scroll down a little bit more, we can compare it to other algorithms. So, Libri 468 to 480, so Libri got the biggest improvement, but it doesn't really matter since the payouts are so low because of Libri ASIC miners. Equihash went from 709 to 698, so it looks like Equihash got a little bit lower performance compared to previous version. Pascal 1863 and before it was 190, so also Pascal a little bit lower performance. Sia 296 compared to 287 that we got now. Blake 2S 686 compared to 688 and Kryptonite V7 738 to 736. So almost no difference at all and there is really no reason to update to this new version of the miner. Uh, they say that they have bug fixes and all of that but it doesn't really look like they fixed the algorithm switching which is the biggest problem that we are seeing even now after a few months of it being a huge huge problem. So let's go back to the nice hash news. Fixed zero hash mining and this was the problem that some people had with nice hash that the miner was reporting zero hashes per second on some algorithms and they were actually not getting paid or some people got paid but it was still reporting zero hashes per second while it was successfully mining. And the last thing is updated XMR stack 242 and this means that if you are mining Kryptonite V7 with your CPU you have an updated version of a miner but currently the payouts are so low for CPU mining on Kryptonite V7 that it is almost not worth mining anymore with your CPU. On Ryzen 7 1700 you can see that I am getting only 4700 satoshis so this is like 20% compared to the GTX 180. TI. So if you're still mining with your CPU, it is about right time to switch to GPU mining right now. And updates like this cannot really help you because CPUs are so outdated to the GPUs that nothing can help you with that. So to just summarize it up, there is really no need to update to the newest version even though it is recommended and NiceHash says that they fixed some problems. But if you have a lot of the rigs and you don't want to waste like 20-30 minutes updating your rig and benchmark it, there is really no need to update to the newer miner. So thank you guys for watching this video, let me know what you want to see in another one and bye.